SMT Thermal Discoveries are the experts in thermal processes from minus 50 degrees Celsius up to 450 degrees Celsius. With highly stable reflow soldering systems, vacuum soldering to reduce voiding in solder joints, and whether you need temperature treatment systems with standard equipment or flexible solutions, SMT Thermal Discoveries have the machine to your thermal challenges. Welcome to Vitrox here at Productronica. I'm joined by uh, Falmi Helmi yep. and uh, nice to see you Falmi. Yes, nice to see you too, Yeah, So you're, you're basically running the European uh, side of uh, Vitrox uh, sales yes, over yes. here. A um, couple of new machines to look at this week. I mean, the first one here is this V9i uh, conformal coding inspection system. Tell us a little bit about how, how it works. So, okay, here we have the, uh, the cobot. You know, with this uh, collaborative uh, robotic with the uh, with the human. So basically, when uh, that is why we have the system designed like this. So the reason why we're having like this is because of the uh, mobility of the machine, and then uh, easier for the user to develop the the program itself. And uh, the main thing on this system is to inspect the conformal inspection, uh, conformal coating inspection, mm -hmm. to check the absent presence of the uh, coating at any type of the uh, material that we have in the market and also we can uh, inspect the thickness of the uh, coating as well. Yeah. So it does all types of coatings, uh, the, the paralines and, the, and the, the, the other types that are available too? Yes, yes, yes. We, we, we covered all kind of the uh, material that they have in the, in the market, like acrylic, uh, some other things that they, they have and also uh, we try to look at the glue as well in the future, you know. Right. And uh, when it comes to the uh, final inspection, we also look at the um, uh, a certain application, like uh, to check at the screw, uh, missing uh, absent present of the screw on the on the box bill, on these things, yeah. So for this uh, robotic arm that we can uh, we can have here, we can also do with the angle inspection. So right. that, that, is, that is why we are looking at this uh, cobot. I see, I wondered, because, you know, most conformal coatings done in line, Yes. Uh, so, so essentially, this is going to take the board off the line to inspect it. Is that correct? Uh, no, we, we we can put it in line as well. We do have a SMIMA uh, connectivity on the machine. So we are here because we do not have a conveyor. But when it come to the normal uh, production, we do have a conveyor that uh, we can uh, integrate with the stopper, with the uh, one of the application. We, they also require us to put the uh, curtain sensor. Uh, that is something that we also have on, on the on the machine. Yeah. Okay. So um, that's the um, the V9i uh, to formal coating inspector. It does take this testing as well, does it of the of the coating? How does that operate? How does that work? So um, it's quite easy to do programming on this machine. It's basically you need to you will not require any CAD information or DB plus but You not required to have that. You just need to put a board. The system will learn by itself. So you need to, to learn it by six to ten, ten times of the, of the uh, board and uh, everything done. So no cat required. <laughs> so that is our goal to have the, the machine here. So that, does it have any sort of range of thicknesses that it measures? Uh, yes, we can go up to uh, 13 micron and uh, 10 micron of the thickness of the uh, coating. But, but it, it depending on what sensor you're using. So that is why we have a few uh, range of the uh, sensor. Yeah. Okay, so further up the booth, you've got a new AOI system, which I believe has got a, a multi-camera head in it. Can you explain a little bit about that? Uh, that is a new uh, product we introduced uh, just now, uh, early of this year, because we do have the uh, 3D AOI with the side camera before, but uh, somehow we yeah, we, we do not have much integration on that. So because of the demand of the, from the customer, especially for the automotive market, mm -hmm. we come up with the, the latest uh, uh, side angle camera with a better resolution and also introducing a new projector because we need to produce a very good image, uh, uh, especially on the 3D. Yeah. So what, what sort of um, size of cameras have you got in, in there? Uh, now we have uh, 12 megapixel. 12, 12 megapixels, oh, yeah, 12 megapixels. Yeah, that's quite big. And what about the, the maximum field of view? Uh, right now we are having a, a 64 by 40 mm mm, uh, uh, field of view for this one. And uh, so 
uh, in terms of the uh, side camera also the same. So that's that's uh, quite interesting. Um, and the uh, does it use three types of lighting in it, or what type of lighting does it use in there? Oh yeah, we still remain the same one. We still uh, remain the RGB uh, lighting on the on the system. Yeah. And also, uh, when we are introducing the, the the side camera, we have the um, there's more features on the system, whereby uh, we do have the intelligent lighting. Mm -hmm. uh, when you are looking at certain angle, we can turn it off on the other side. All this. Uh, things that we have it. Okay, so does it use a sort of moire process or what, what, how does it work? Yeah. Yes, we do, we do see, have the same yeah, moire. Excellent. Okay, well, you're always having new things coming out here at uh, Vitrox. Um, uh, I want to thank you very much for showing us both these machines, uh, thank you. Bami. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, opportunity to have uh, this interview with me as well. <laughs> it's good to see you. Thank you.